Hey guys, time for another review for some products from MyLEDs.com. The link for this product will be in the description box below. This is a really straightforward LED product. This is a corn bulb that screws into a regular light socket here in America. An E27. It's got 36 LEDs in it. Now it says these are 5730s on the uh, description link. It says 5630. It's warm white. I believe that's uh, 2200 to 2800 Kelvin. Okay, why would you want to use an LED light bulb? Well, I can think of a bunch of reasons. First of all, it's, an, it's shatterproof. So for shop use, for use on lighting your tools in a shop, working in a shop environment, someplace where things could get broken as a work light, working under your vehicle or whatever, a shatterproof enclosure like this is pretty awesome. The downside is this is perfectly clear, which means that you're going to get blinded by all those LEDs, but you are going to get wonderful light. That's why I chose a simple light fixture here, simple lamp. This is nothing more than a, you know, cheap Walmart lamp. Right now it has one of those typical low draw bulbs in it. Okay, I don't know if that'll register well or not. The coily bulbs. Now these things are an environmental hazard. I don't know if people realize, you know, yes, you're saving electricity, but the disposal of these bulbs is creating uh, an environmental impact. The material that they're made with, uh, the coating that's inside, all of that, it's, it's uh, not good for the environment. So all these millions and billions of these kinds of bulbs out there are creating an environmental impact. Something like an LED, like this, extremely low environmental impact. Not only does it draw a tiny amount of power, even in comparison to these low watt bulbs everybody are using now, you know, instead of incandescents, it's, uh, it's even less draw and they last even longer and as you may have found working with light bulbs like this obviously you drop it one time boosh, and you've got this white dust everywhere and glass and it's just a mess uh, sometimes if they're handled roughly they'll come loose from their socket and then you have an electrocution hazard okay this is a completely sealed up unit and that's why I like these MyLED.com sent this to me to review, okay? So I got this as a freebie. Uh, I guess a bulb like this probably costs four or five bucks. You'd have to check their website. I'll put a link to this product in the description box below. But what I want to do here is I just want to uh, go right from this light, okay? And I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to change the bulbs and then I'll turn the camera back on. We'll be able to see the uh, color of the light circle and how much light is washing out in the exact same lighting condition. Okay, now we've got the LED bulb installed and the first thing I'm noticing right away is that the light circle is less distinct and there seems to be more light coming through the shade than there was before. Okay, another thing about these bulbs, these things get hot Okay, these will contribute to your cooling costs in the summer of your home too. And handling them, removing them after they've been running, it's just like handling an incandescent bulb. You could burn yourself. So, this bulb runs completely cool, of course. It's an LED. I mean, it just runs just about room temperature. I'm detecting no heat off of it at all. And it's got a nice color to it. Nice, normal, useful color. Let's take a look at the shade a little more. So you can see how that LED looks through something like this. You wouldn't want to be looking directly at those uh, little corn bulb elements. Those little S and Ds would not be fun to look at at all. I'll give you an example of why. Okay, They're brilliant. So you've got six of them on the end and then you've got, uh, imagine, a mess more along the sides. I'd have to count them and, and give you the exact layout of it. I'll just show it to you. It'd be easier. But for what it's intended for, putting inside of a shaded lamp, 
I think it's awesome. I would like to put these all through my whole house. That's how I feel about it. And as long as the product works, as long as you screw it in and it works, what more can you really expect from a light bulb? So let's go ahead and turn it off. As you can see, this is the room light just from natural daylight and some more of those curly Q bulbs up in the ceiling. I've got four of them. I'll turn it back on. You can see it gives you a nice, warm, easy to work with light that's easy on your eyes. I, sp I, sp I asked for a warm white because I think that's what most people are, are going to want. It's like more like an incandescent. E2736 LED5730 AC110 and that's basically all there is to it. I'll show you the bulb again in just a second. Okay, there we are back to the curly Q bulbs. Curly Q bulb there and you can see how that looks inside the shade. Kind of a big hot spot there. The other one was much more evenly lit. Now to be fair, this bulb in here is a 7 watt and I believe that this one is a 5 watt. I will check. You've got rows of 5, 6 of them, and then you have 6. It's got venting so it's not waterproof. It's not meant to be waterproof. I just really like how they've constructed it. I think it's really neat. It's a nice shatterproof. It's small. It's a good size. It's a good amount of output to work with at close range. Okay, I don't know about putting it up in a, in a lighting fixture. We'll have a look at that in a second. Okay, I'm not really sure how useful this is going to be, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Put on my Nomex glove here. Take this bulb out. The bulb is quite warm even through the leather. Okay, I'm trying to see if they'll say what wattage this bulb is. It is 14 watts. So this is a very powerful bulb compared to the bulb I'm about to put in. Okay, we'll just see what that would be like in comparison. I don't have any low wattage curly Q bulbs right handy. I don't plan to get any because I don't want to buy any more curly Q light bulbs. Okay, so there's the light output compared to the others. I think it's noticeably dimmer. Now let's undo these so we can get an idea of what kind of light that puts out. Just by itself. I actually like it. Um, I don't like looking at all the individual em elements. A frosted corn bulb which would have less light output would be more pleasant to look at or an incompletely enclosed globe would be more pleasant to look at but it is it is a decent amount of light now you consider that's I think that's a 5 watt bulb and these are 14's the color of that light is less yellow I don't know if that's coming across with this camera or not See if I just leave the back one on, maybe the two colors will overlap and you can see. Yep. To my eye, the curly Q bulbs are more yellow than the corn bulb. Corn bulb is not really designed to be used like that unless it was a much higher, you can buy much higher output corn bulbs, they're bigger. You can buy ones that are frosted, they have globes around. There's all different styles. This clear one right here, this is what I was sent to review. So that's why I'm reviewing it. Alright, well here's another pretty typical application, bathroom lighting. You can see these are actually clear globes. Something like this might not be uh, that hard on the eyes in comparison. These are also much lower water. I think these are 10 watts. Those actually look pretty jazzy. I mean, they don't look right with this sort of thing. You need some sort of globe or something, I think, to make. These are extremely hot. Oh my gosh, these use so much electricity too, and they burn out so quickly. Now, with just a single LED light in here, 
I think the lighting is very pleasant. It's much less uh, clinical and harsh and annoying to look at. Um, certainly enough work light to, you know, do your business. Let's have a good look at that bulb in comparison to the other ones. So you can see it puts out a very nice pure color of light. Uh, let's see if this light looks any different. This is also pretty white. This looks like a tungsten filament bulb. Very similar in color to my eye. Uh, except that I find it extremely hard to look at this one directly. It's just, it hurts my eye. But that one is not near, even though you're looking directly at LED elements, it's not nearly as annoying. So, pretty good use for that right there in the bathroom. Okay, so now we're down in the shop, which is where I think something like this LED bulb would really work out great for it. My, me and for just about anybody that uses warp lights. So here we've got a curly Q bulb. And you're going to notice a couple things about this. It's very orange looking right now. It's because it's about 35 degrees in my shop. And these bulbs have to warm up. When they're cold, they don't put out as much light. That's another benefit of LEDs. They are not temperature sensitive like these curly Q bulbs. You put that LED on and it is instantly going to be full output. So what I want to look at is how does this work if I want to use it as a work light for cutting. Now right now I have just one fluorescent light up on the ceiling on and the rest of it is just daylight coming through my windows. And I wanted to see how that works for me as a work light because I use my bandsaw and this work light all the time. So I have a really good idea of whether or not something is working out. Let's get closer. Let's look down at it. Okay. Let's turn off this light. Okay. So let's turn this light on and off. That's exactly the kind of fill light I need to see a pencil line on a piece of wood. can turn it around and get it so that the shadow of the blade is not obscuring the work depending on how I'm doing it. I think I would want a higher output bulb for this application. But it's not terrible. What I'm going to do, this switch has got a lot of dust in it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the corn bulb out and put the curly cube bulb back in. This is a 14 watt curly Q bulb, so it's almost three times the output. So I'm just looking at color. And that's what it looks like when that's on and off. Okay, being completely honest, even cold at lower output, this 14 watt or 15 watt curly Q bulb is putting out more usable light than the LED in this application. This, this LED bulb would have to be higher wattage. This is a, let's see, they're going to say somewhere on it what it is. 900 lumens. Are they going to give a wattage equivalent? 14. Okay. Mercury disposal. Okay, it says mercury in it. Think about that. Every time one of these little bastards breaks, you're introducing mercury into your home environment. That just bothers me in so many ways. People don't realize how deadly mercury is. Mercury does not bond well to anything, and a single atom of mercury will travel the planet almost endlessly. It's not something you want to be releasing into the environment. I'm much happier with LED technology. I like it. I just want a higher wattage one for this application. All right, so here we are back at the house. And I, I really think that the ideal application for this bulb is something just like this. This is a little lamp for my daughter's computer desk. Okay, 
My family is notoriously clumsy. They're always dropping and breaking things. I found this lamp on the floor in her room a few times. Knocked off her desk. She's only eight. So do I really want to have something where there's shown be glass shards? Mercury? You know? Nah. This should go in her room. Of all the different places in this house, this particular review bulb will be going in my daughter's lamp for her computer desk. So I don't have to worry about if she drops it. Well, I want to thank MyLEDs.com one more time for sending me that to review. It was a pleasure. It's a nice little piece of uh, lighting. And uh, I would say anybody could make use of that. There's frosted. There's more uh, output uh, units. Uh, they've got them for Europe or for uh, America. There's all the different kinds of 12 and 24 volt applications for vehicles. They have all the kinds of, you know, plug-in type lights to replace all the lighting in your vehicle. All those sorts of things could all be done LED. And I would think any of them make more sense than this. All right, give it a shot. Check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment. If you like these sort of things, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate your views.